Hello everyone, welcome back. In this part, we're going to talk about CSS variables and how to use them to get better results in our web page. Let's say here we have simple H1 with our title inside of it. Then we have some paragraph going on right here. And then after this, we might have some button right here which says, click me. And then let's say we have an unordered list with five list item inside of it which are item one through five now when we want to style them we can select all of them differently and give them values for example we can have our h1 and make the color of that blue for example or we can make our list items background to be green or maybe our button to be blue again and maybe the color to be white but of course you know that we can different values something like these these going on but if i want to have the same color of this here too i need to copy this one right here and give this here and if for example i have a long page I might need many hundreds of these lines in my code. And if I want to change them, I need to go and change all of them one by one. So instead of those, we have something called variables in our CSS, which means we give this one value and we set this to use the same thing here. And to use that here first, we need to give double column right here. And here we need to have our root right here and inside of this we can define variables by q hyphen and then the name of the variable that we want for example here i want my blue dash text and here i can give this value which i want for example mine is this now here instead of these i can use simply var method and inside of this, I can use my variable. Now you see, I have the same thing going on here, but I didn't give the RGB value. I only give the variable name to here. Again, I can have the same thing going on for this one too. And now you'll see, we have this going on. And how we're gonna use this in our design? For example, let's say here we have here first let's select all of our elements right here we have our h1 here then we have our paragraph going on after that we have our button and then we have our unordered list here and then our list items and here we can have some colors to set to create our palette of web and board with this so here let's say we want our color to some light thing let's say this is good okay here we define one light text variable and give this a value of the color that we want after that we might have some dark text going on in our design so we can have this maybe to be simple black here then for dark background, maybe we want this kind of color right here. So we add this color to our dark background, which I'm going to say dark BG right here. And then we might have some light BG going on in our designs. And for this, let's make this to be this kind of color and we can have our borders and here we can define all of the things that we got right here for example for the background of our paragraph we want this to be dark so here we use our background and give this var function and here we select dark bg right here now you'll see we got our dark background right here and again we can have the color of our text to change to war light text here you see now we are going to change this just like this and let's say we want the same thing going for our button 
two. Okay, we can have this. Now you see we have this button and this paragraph in this mode. And maybe we want our unordered list background to be our light background which we have defined. You see, we have this. And for the list item, let's make the color of these to be our light text here. Now you see, we can change all of them just by changing our root right here. For example, let's say we want our light text to be some blue thing going on right here. You see now all of them has changed. Maybe you want to change the, your black text to be some this kind of color. You see now if I, for example, give this color of dark text, this is going to change to that color. Of course, you can change your dark background to be whatever that you want. Let's say you want this to be this thing, your light background. You can change anything that you want and that is going to apply to your web. And you can have, for example, let's say you want your background color too and you want to create that in your button. Okay, you give two Python right here. Let's say we want to name this bg2 right here then you need to give your color that you want and that is going to be applied for example let's say we want this to be this kind of green thing going on now we have this bg2 variable working and we can make for example and we can make the background of our bottom for example to be bg2 but what if I want to make this one BG2? You see, if I type BG2 right here, it's not gonna show. And that is because of we defined this inside our button. And this is going to be local and working only here in the button. But if we want to use this all along our web page, we will need to come and give this in the root. So now, if I add my semicolon right here, you see we have this pg2 working both for the button and ul right here please give a like and subscribe to catch next videos